Today we're going to talk about OptiCam terminations. The first part of every OptiCam termination is to ensure that your equipment is wor in working condition. In order to check the OptiCam to ensure that the battery strength is, is good, click the on button, focus it on the, on the table, and ensure that the, the light is very bright. Secondly, check the end face of the, the VFL cord that is utilized in the termination process. You can utilize a video scope or a handheld scope to look at the end face. The end face is dirty. Utilize a, a Kim wipe or a cassette cleaner to clean that. Another thing to check is the actual split sleeve on the ferrule portion of the patch cord. You want to unscrew the tip, ensure that the ceramic split sleeve has no cracks and clean with the Kim wipe the ferrule internal. Another thing to check is your cleaver to ensure that it's working properly. Make sure that the beaver tail is, is flat and you can check to make sure that it's giving you a good cleave by following the best practices on the Panduit website. To do an OptiCam termination there is two patch cords associated with it. One is a 1.25 millimeter patch cord for LCs and one has a 2.5 millimeter patch cord for ST and SC. Today we're doing LCs so we're going to use the 1.25 millimeter cord. The ST portion of the patch cord lines up and goes into the LED portion of the OptiCam tool. The LC portion then goes into the connector portion. The LC sled slides into the cradle. The LC connector then slides into the cradle and pops into place. And then you attach the LC patch cord to the connector. When terminating 250 micron fiber onto an OptiCam, you need to install a build-up tube before you install the boot. So the build-up tube will slide onto the fiber and then the boot slides over the build-up tube. You would strip the cable approximately 30 millimeters. You need to ensure that all of the acrylate is off of the fiber cable itself. And when that is done, you use 95% or better alcohol and you clean the fiber. Insert the fiber into the Phytol cleaver with the end of the coating at the 7 millimeter mark. Slowly depress the hammer to score the fiber and then bend the tail to cleave. Place an insertion mark 15 millimeters from the end of the buildup tube. This will ensure that the buffer tube is inserted into the OptiCam all the way. After cleaving the fiber, slowly slide the buildup tube until the edge of the fiber cleave and the edge of the buildup tube are even. Slide the buildup tube and the cleaved fiber into the connector. The buffer tube will stop at the insertion point. Slide the fiber cable in a little bit further until that stops. Secure the fiber into the buffer clamps. After locking down the fiber, hold the fiber at the edge of the buildup tube and apply slight forward pressure towards the connector. Cam the connector by rotating the body towards you. Turn on the VFL. Ensure the cord is inserted all the way into the ferrule and look for the glow in the middle of the connector. There should be very little to no glow in the middle of the connector. If there is too much glow in the middle of the connector, the connector can be recammed. Uncam the connector by rotating the body back up. Shut off the VFL. Pull the fiber back just a little bit, reinsert, bottom out the buildup tube, 
put pressure at the base of the buildup tube and the fiber to create a little bow in the buildup tube. Recam the fiber and turn on the VFL. After termination, shut the VFL off, pull the VFL cord off, release the fiber from the clamps, pull up the LC, and slide the boot on. And that concludes the optic termination.